should always look for these kind of foods, and that's what we're going to talk about to do in Kihei, to get more of these kind of foods that provide a lot of nutrients and not too many calories. Okay, next one. Oh, you see, this is a, when we're talking about all these nutrients, this is all the nutrients that we need every day. This is the DV for the nutrients. To our cells to be, to be healthy. Very important that we know. We have now for all the vitamins, minerals, a lot of minerals, and amino acids, we know exactly how much we need. And when you use more healthy as foods, you get all these vitamins and minerals and the acids. And we uh, have a, a four weeks plan to show you 100% how to get all of them. And that's very hard to do. But uh, we, we do more healthy as foods, and uh, with a four week plan, you get everything there. Okay, the next one. And now I show you, you see what happened. If you eat good, uh, good foods like uh, whole grain uh, uh, wheat, you get all the nutrients in your cells are nice and healthy, your mitochondria, your nucleus, and ATP, energy is real good. But what happens when you eat food, they say refined foods. Very simple. You see what happened? Energy is very low. That's ATP is very low. That's the reason we have always to look for foods they have all these nutrients. You see, they very little. Uh, they have very little right here. They have all these nutrients. Next one. Okay, now uh, we're going to. What are we going to do in Kihei? And I'm going to give you really uh, idea what to do and how to get good food right here. Uh, uh, you know, right here, uh, climate is the same like in Mediterranean countries. In Mediterranean countries, they have the healthiest, uh, the healthiest people in the world. I just got back from uh, Crete, and they hardly have any heart problems, uh, very low cancer, or any of these kind of degenerative diseases. Why? Because they eat in foods that contain all the nutrients that keep us healthy, or we call it health promoting nutrients. What they what they eat a lot there? They eat vegetable. And I was thinking about Kike. I mean, we could grow all kinds of vegetables right here. And sometimes we don't think the salads, letters, the vegetables. I remember somebody of the sustainability meeting. We had one lady over there, she brought in one, uh, one uh, container, you know, letters, and they were just so wonderful. And you don't have to do too much because we have a lot of sun, we got a lot of water, and you just put some, uh, some good, uh, good fertilizer and uh, you could grow all your vegetables. We have all the fruits. You know, a lot of fruits. Now, only one, one thing you have to be careful on fruits, right here we have the, what we call in tropical fruits. The tropical fruits, they're very rich in uh, uh, high glycemic index. What does that mean? They have a lot of sugar. And uh, some people become uh, fruitarians, and they have probably with the candida. Be uh, careful. It's good to mix, like uh, uh, in Kula, they're growing a lot of strawberries and some of these different fruits. They're not just so high in sugar. Be very careful on that one. It's very important that you, you, you eat that kind of food. Olive oil. Now, we don't grow olive oil right here in Kihe. But you know how much avocado we have in uh, Kihe and uh, in the uh, whole island? I have my avocado tree. Uh, first year, uh, I have 100 avocados. And you know why avocados are so good? Because they're so rich in, uh, in uh, monosaturated fats, hard, healthy fat. And uh, uh, that's a substitute for olive oil. Only you don't have this uh, uh, different nutrients from olive oil, but mainly, mostly it's a monosaturated fat. And we, we could be so independent right here because this is the only uh, uh, fat that we need. And it's so easy to make it, there's so much, uh, so much of, uh, uh, just grow the uh, avocado tree, so easy, so easy to maintain. And naturally nuts and seeds, we have now in macadamia nuts in, uh, in, uh, in Crete and Mediterranean countries, they have a lot of almonds and walnuts. But macadamia nuts is very rich in monosaturated fats, it's very good for you. See, we could be very independent right here with all the foods that we could grow right here in the uh, in Ikea. Seeds are uh, naturally, you know, we have sunflower seeds, uh, uh, flax seeds, uh, uh, pumpkin seeds, 
and so on. They're very, uh, it's easy to grow right here. Mostly in Kula. Kula is a kind of very good temperature where you could do it. Uh, and one thing that we have problem is the whole, uh, whole grains. And uh, what is the problem with whole grains? Uh, we don't have that many in uh, an island. And we don't need them that much. We need only 5%. You know, we are used to, we love, uh, we love uh, rice, and we love all these uh, different grains, but it's much better that you have more of these uh, kind of foods, which contain a lot, a lot of more things. And, you know, we are uh, surrounded with all these uh, fish uh, in, in the island. Uh, you know, mahi-mahi, alpaca, alpaca, paca, ahi, and all the rich in the, I mean, omega-3. We need uh, every day, we need two and a half to four grams of omega-3 every day every person needs. That's the reason fish will be good part, uh, to be a good part in our diet. And what's going to happen when we start growing right here on island, we're going to have re less uh, refined, uh, refined uh, foods and refined grains of sugar. And that's what's happened in, uh, in uh, Belgium during the war, uh, World War II. When they didn't, uh, when they, uh, they didn't eat too much of these refined foods because they didn't have any, they got all healthier, <laughs> and that's what's going to happen to us when we stop uh, uh, bringing these food, refined foods, and we start growing our own foods, enjoying growing our foods because it's a lot of fun. I mean, I grow tomatoes, I grow, I grow peppers. Um, you, you know, you have I have avocado. Uh, papaya, you know, it's so easy to maintain right here. I mean, soil is so rich right here, they just grow so fast. And this way, I encourage everybody to do something about it. Uh, rosemary grows so well right here. I mean, uh, basil, all these spices, uh, you know. And actually, you could put in this fish, uh, this uh, looks a little bit boring, but you could have some uh, uh, goat, uh, goat cheese, feta cheese, I know there's a big, nice farm of the goats in, uh, in Kula over there, and they have a very nice one over there. Dark chocolate is uh, it's a really good part to it. You see, you, you don't have to suffer that you don't have enough variety right here in Maui because we do have all kinds of variety and we could enjoy it. And that's the reason two things I highly recommend. First, we gotta think about food that is good for us, more healthiest foods, they have all the vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, all the nutrients that we need for the healthy body. And what we need to do, we have to uh, grow some of these foods because it's, it's so much cheaper, it's so much easier to do that. That's all I have to tell you. Thank you very much. <laughs>